Marbles and Ramps, a story about visualizing systems by Mark Rubin. Leonardo da Vinci sketched these machines. They cannot work. It is not possible to make a machine that can spin around forever. When I was 12 years old, I imagined and built the machine in the middle, this one. Uh, I knew it wouldn't work, but I built it anyway. This is a sketch of the model I made when I was 12. I could see that it wouldn't work uh, visually, and uh, but I built it anyway just for fun because I wanted to know how long it would spin before it stopped. And that wasn't something that I could model and the things that impact their behavior as a system. And this makes it possible to visualize systems. by imagining the components as a series of comprehensive snapshots in time. And if you can do that, it's possible to visualize these snapshots over time and create animated models of, of systems that are accurate. I keep track of the motion, position, and weight in color-coded visual models, and this is one snapshot in time, snapshot one. And what it's showing is that um, what you have to imagine is that this is a, a snapshot of this um, wheel that's spinning around. Um, this is the distance of each marble from the center uh, y-axis, this, this axis here. And uh, this is the weight of the left side versus the right side by adding up the uh, visual weight of the marbles that are on the left side versus the right side. And what you'll see based on this way of looking at it is the left weight is always equal to the right weight, at, at least at snapshot one. And if you do it uh, again, and what we've done is we've rotated uh, to this position that um, the marbles wiggle around inside the system and the left weight is equal to the right weight. And when I was 12, um, I did 100 snapshots of the system. And this allowed me to create a dynamic model just like the one I showed you a couple slides ago. And based on this dynamic model, I could see that it's impossible to build a machine that can spin around forever because it's balanced at every snapshot. every No matter how you uh, play with the curvature of the ramps and no matter where you put the magnets and no matter um, where you put this lifting ramp uh, into position, um, it's always in balance. So that means that you could spin it with your finger, but it would eventually stop um, because of the frictional effects inside the system. And that's a story about visualizing systems.